Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. CC here, uh, Chris from New York, Westchester County. Going to be working on Chapter 3 today. Hopefully I can uh, get through it. Uh, we won't be disturbed. Chapter 3 is called Our Reality. Now, for those of you that are just joining us, uh, we're working on a uh, system that's a plausible possibility beyond the flat earth. Uh, this is something that I'm working on in several chapters to get you through this type of truth that could possibly be our reality, but yet unproven and very difficult to prove until one of us gets down there and investigates it for ourselves. That would be a civilian, not somebody who's paid by NASA or somebody else. So welcome. Let's get to it. Our reality. Imagine for a second, or a minute perhaps, that everything around us is fake. Real to you and me, of course. Organic material, of course. But the creators have figured out a computer simulation that involves organic material that we understand as organic materials. Probably the best way to describe it. Um, not a computer program with Pac-Man running around, okay? You know, this is a, a very sophisticated program and a very sophisticated system that we're in. If it's not a computer simulation, my question to you is, who are the janitors? You know, who's cleaning up the mess in our closed system, our flat closed system? Who's cleaning all of it up? Who's operating what's making the sun and the moon? You know, what makes it not a simulation is my question to you. And that's what I believe that they're really hiding from us. Not the fact that we live on a flat earth, but the fact that there's something beyond flat earth, beyond our imagination, possible. Um, well, maybe not beyond our imagination, because they figured it out, obviously, but they're definitely hiding something else. And this could be a plausible possibility of it. But imagine that. Imagine a simulation that has that in it. Now, also imagine that we're in it ourselves. Okay. That everything is real around us, our lives are real, the people that you meet are real. Uh, not the fake actors that they hire for the stupid uh, crisis actors. They're not real, but I know, that's, a different, uh, that's a different story. That's to keep you on your toes video. Um, so imagine that for a second. Then imagine that we're allowed to continue to what we're doing, and that's by destroying the planet, destroying everything around us creating a complete absolute mess we're freaking animals that's why we're all allowed to continue the way we're we're living you know and imagine also that this could quite possibly be a test in this simulated world that why we might be doppelgangers of ourselves in a totally different i don't want to say dimension because i, I don't believe in dimensions you know I want to, but I just really don't believe in them. Let's say another world, okay, another existence, okay? And that's probably why we're perhaps conditioned as we're younger, that we're insignificant, that we're very small in, in, in a way. And, and maybe we are, maybe we are very insignificant, very small in the real world of what is really going on beyond the simulation. But here we're talking about the simulation, and I don't, I don't want to get off the subject, okay? So imagine this is a test for all of us to go through. A lot of people talk about reincarnation. That could very well be possible, you know? Very well be possible. Because I believe that until we all come together, all of us, every race, every people come together and get along with each other, we'll never find out the truth. And we'll never know what really is going on. And I think that's what the test is. And I think that's what the simulation is all about. Um, the sun and the moon. I had somebody send me a video the other day of uh, what appears to be two suns in the clouds. There could be a number of explanations for that. Uh, the simulation could be one of them. 
where as the sun there could have been a glitch in the simulation but I you know it's hard to believe that there would be you know this is a very complicated system that's been running on perhaps thousands and thousands and thousands of years we don't know you know certainly not millions I can tell you that right now but definitely thousands 26,000 for some reason just popped into my head I don't know why anyway uh, so the Sun and the moon the video which I'll link when I get home later today I'll try to link it I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it but I'll, I'll figure it out uh, shows two suns you know on it and I, this is not uncommon I have seen this before it could be a number of explanations you know we don't know what's above these clouds you know, you know what I'm saying it, it, we don't know we just see the clouds flat on top of us and that's it you know we don't know what they look like up on top uh, but this also proves that the Sun isn't as far away as they say and that is def most definitely a simulation I can probably guarantee you that um, the Sun could actually be you know there, there could be like a, kind of like a pyramid cloud coming out and the Sun being up on top and then the reflections are coming down as double and that could be too but I mean the angles of the Sun and the where where the Sun should be in relation to where the clouds are it just never really makes any sense you know if you really look at it but back to the simulation um, you know, they definitely are closer than than we think. You know, and and absolutely they're part of the simulation because I mean, how how would you be able to, with the sun and the moon, not maintain this ob these objects up there? You know, if they were physically real. You know, and it's so it's so easy to make them into a, a simulation and just create heat and create cold. I've mentioned that before in my previous videos. And you're probably saying to yourself, then why can I feel the tree? Why, why am I able to drive a car? Why can I build things? That's all part of the simulation, okay? You have to understand, the creator, we don't know what type of computer program that he has up there. This is just a plausible possibility of something beyond flat earth that they might be hiding um, us from. Uh, and, and it really makes perfectly good sense. You know, why, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't this be a simulation, you know, that, that we're living in? to the creator. To us, it's absolutely real. You know, it would be so much simpler to, to create something like that and have us live in it. Why? I have no idea. You know, is it a test? Possibly. You know, is it punishment? I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. But we've created this reality. The government has created this reality. I don't believe we're supposed to be living the way we're living right now captured in this enclosed system and not enjoying our lives you know to the fullest the way we should be becoming smarter you know being able to uh, talk to each other and come up with ideas of, of how to get to the dome of how to get to to the to the walls of ice you know uh, and the jobs that we have and everything I mean it's it, it, that's been created that's hell for us okay that's our hell as far as I'm concerned so anyway, I want you to think about that, you know, with, with the simulation and with a plausible possibility of what they could possibly be hiding from us in, in terms of just the flat earth itself. There's definitely something more, guys. I can guarantee you that. It's not just flat earth. There is something beyond this. And this is another plausible possibility of beyond flat earth. I'll be getting into chapter four if I think of anything else for chapter three. Uh, and um, in between there, again, I'll be doing Keep You On Your Toes. There's something I would like to add to. This is going to sound kind of weird, but I want to end this class with, with this particular philosophy. Um, you know, the, the sun and the moon are round for a particular reason. Okay? And I think those are hints possibly I don't know don't hold me to it that it could quite possibly be the invention of the wheel a way for us to get around you know, maybe maybe we would have figured out the invention of the wheel you know but it's the only way to get around from place to place you know forget about the car forget about the combustible engine but itself the wheel itself okay I don't think they wanted us to think that the entire solar system was round 
You, you know what I'm saying? That was just something that we were brought up to believe. Because if you look up those, those stars, they don't look round. You know, the planets do, but the stars don't. You know, so everything is round around us, I think, for a particular reason. And I, I know we were meant to find this. You know, they're hiding it from us. But if you look at the sun and you look at the moon, it is a perfect ball, a uh, perfect circle, shall we say. You know, and that's maybe how we did come up with the wheel. And that's how we can transport ourselves to other places that we would never be able to walk to. Okay? Now, in terms of flying, I don't know about that. <laughs> that's something we just figured out on our own. But I just think about that. That's a little, uh, you know, a uh, little philosophy that I have. Like, okay, all right. I thank you for viewing. I thank you for subbing. Uh, I thank you for letting me be a part of your life and uh, continuing this master's edition for beyond, a plausible possibility, beyond flat earth.